Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today number 19 of this current series where I focus on Southern California eateries. Today's episode is a little bit of a quest to see if there is in existence a place that used to be very well known across the country. And I have heard there is one left. There might be a couple, but there is one in this vicinity in Orange County, inside a mall in Westminster. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? And I'm gonna leave the bags here and take these accessories, store them in my pocket, traveling light. I know, Big the Foot, I was thinking the same thing. This is a quite the tasty mission. There it is, Westminster Mall. We made it, Big the Foot. Coordinates are showing 200 feet away. Not far. 15 miles per hour is all that is allotted because there is a speed hump. I have to be completely honest, I don't believe that I've ever tried an Orange Julius in my life. If I have done so, it was when I was very young and I do not recollect. The company started in the 20s and it was the official drink of the 1964 World's Fair. Later on, decades later, the company Dairy Queen had an acquisition and started to carry their products. But from what I read about a year or so ago, they cut ties from that angle. They are still affiliated, but they do not have all the products. And there's not many standalones left. Let's see if it's in there. Even though most of the stores are temporarily closed, look over there, a real Orange Julius still in operation. That is so freaking cool. There are some that still exist. This is proof. What are the odds out of all these that this is the one place that is open? They've also expanded into the smoothie varieties, but I'm gonna go with the original. Right there on the, the far end, that's a strawberry banana, but they do have other flavors. Do you have okay, just the, the, the normal? The old fashioned. The old fashioned. Old fashioned Julius. Which is made with real fruit juice. And what else is in that? That's called the secret powders. Secret, <laughs> secret powders. And you have, what sizes do you have? Do you have like a large? Yeah, there's all three sizes there. There's the three sizes? Even large. Okay, I'm gonna probably get a large, just the, the old school. The old school orange Julius. For $6.39 in the large. Julia, sir, I got the price wrong. I was looking at the prices for, for the smoothies, the originals, $5.49 for the, the large. They, they have different flavors too. They have pina colada, strawberry. I'm just getting the straight up orange. Getting an additional soft pretzel sticks with zesty queso for $2.79. Yeah, I gotta have something to go along with the, with the beverage. Seven dollars and ninety-two cents for all this. That's a pretty good deal for all that. Thank you. A big drink and three pretzel sticks. And this is queso. That's a queso. Nice. You certainly don't see these too much anymore. Oh yes, it's time. It's definitely time. I'm also very content that the mall itself had its doors open and that that one lone cafe, cafe spot. It's the only thing in the cafe that's going. What are what are the odds? Down the escalator, I go. And back up. I just did this for the heck of it. You know, why not? And this is what we're dealing with. He was nice enough to put it in the smoothie cup because the other cups did not have the classic logo. Well, the Orange Julius logo. It might have kind of morphed over, over time. So you can, plus you can see in there the other the other the other cups were not like a see-through like this. You can see this see the goodness in there swirling around. I tried to try to ask him precisely what the recipe was, and he said it was secret. It was a secret, so it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, cream sickle is the first thing that pops into my noggin, a creamsicle. Oh, you know those creamsicle bars? 
It's kind of like a melted down version of that. Kind of thick, kind of, I won't say chunky. Oh my gosh, that is, that is freaking so good. What got me started on this whole thought process, there's a couple of restaurants around, around the area that serve something called an orange bang. And I was hearing from some folks that the orange bang is very similar to an orange Julius, but there is a little bit of a difference. There are some other ingredients in here I can taste for sure. Mm. What the heck is in this? It's beautiful. Quite the amount of froth is kicking down in there. Woo, you get a brain freeze if you don't drink it, if you drink it too quick. Not too bad, but you know, you just kinda, you have to just kinda sip it at your own leisure. I've maybe consumed about, not quite a quarter, maybe a fifth, of, eh, probably a quarter. Just, just to give a example. Now I gotta go into the, the pretzel bites. Gonna shift where I was stationed over to this little bench that's here located here in the shade. I'm incorrect, it's not in the shade at all. It kind of teases the shaded area, but it's not in the shade. The shade is there. Pretty near the proximity of these palm trees though, just right over my shoulder. Got the, got the cheese on there. A little bit of salt. A little too much salt. Salty. What do you want in a pretzel? Mmm. No better way to wash it down than with this. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good combo. It's good on its own, obviously. Something about a salted pretzel. Hits the spot. Adding in a little bit of that cheese. You got yourself a winning combo. Just kind of dunk it in there. Quite the, the opposite feeling. You got the, the toasty warm pretzel and the very ice cold beverage. It's like a, you're going head to head. I know that angle was very silhouetted. It's my attempt at being somewhat <laughs> artistic. And the camera angles, it's dripping there. It's got a little, condensation there coming off the bottom the bottom end there's a piece of the palm tree that's hanging out in this shrub and you can see the first few letters of the mall signage right there peeking out kind of wish I could would have gotten a few more pretzel bites those were those were tasty it is good to know however confirmed official it did say so online sometimes you never know to you show up in person. Orange Julius exists in a small fashion. I do not recall, I stated this earlier, but I do not recall that I have ever had one of these. I was kind of expecting it to be a little less frothy. I don't want to say it's smoothie status because I know they do have a smoothie version and this is not the smoothie version, but it is a little more frosty than I expected it. I will try this again. Well, not try it, but I will get another one of these again if I'm ever in the area, in this area or, you know, on the road. Southern California does not have a lot of standalone orange Juliuses around. Maybe other parts of the country. Other states might. Dairy Queen also. Still, they have a foot, they have a, they have a grasp on the name. Maybe I could stop in there and try the smoothie version out. But they might not have 
the old school version. They may or may not have. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Taking a step further, the top of my vehicle is very warm putting my hands so the sun is this is good because it's a little toasty out it's not not really humid not really too hot but it's warmer than it has been the last few days it's not not too overcast either if you enjoyed this particular episode give it a big thumbs up a little different i'm eating a little lighter today obviously i didn't have a full meal a little bit of a, a twist on this series but i had to, i had to see with my own eyes the sun's bright if one still existed <clears throat> nailed it i'll see you in the next video the vlog is over